All right, now one way that you can really just overcome anything in your head, I find, is just a different way of thinking about things, okay? What, I'm not sure if this is the equivalent of like the Buddhist sort of removing yourself from the equation kind of deal, whatever, but me, I call it like literal thinking. And it's kind of, you just, you don't object to what's happening around you at you. Like, it comes to the point of where, how do you define you? What is you, right? Now, I'm not going to get into all that crap, but let's give a scenario. Some guy walks up to you, hey, fuck you, man, you're a bitch. How do you, how do you make that not directed at you? Like, that's, <laughs> that's right at you, right? But what you're really doing is, Okay, you just break it into pieces. What's that person doing? He's not saying, fuck you, you're a bitch, because what he's saying doesn't actually matter. It doesn't, make, it doesn't do anything. What he's saying is that person I see in front of me that sort of represents a human, I dislike the past events that I've associated myself with. That's what he's saying in a more really extremely refined, literal way, minus the rudeness, okay? So all of a sudden now... You can interpret that as, okay, he doesn't like what he visualizes in his head as what's me. Okay. Hey, fuck you, man. You're a bitch. Okay. All of a sudden, it's easy again. It works in other ways, too. Like, for example, um, okay, wait, I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> Okay, no, it works. It's a really good example. You just think really, really, really literally of what's happening. <clears throat> Let's say you're trying to do something disgusting. You want to eat something that is absolutely disgusting. Your dog's crap, okay? You're getting paid a thousand bucks to eat this and you decided to do it, you know? This is like kind of gross, but I'm, it works for this scenario, okay? Um, you kind of don't think of it as what your instincts are telling you. Think of it more as like, what's really happening? What's your body? Well, damn it, this video is making my cereal go soggy. Your body is just a giant compound of elements and particles and things that work together. And your ability to smell something that your body disagrees with or feel pain, all that, all that stuff happens up here in your head. In reality, it's not real. It's just your body's way of telling you what's good and not good for you. So, of course, if you're trying to eat something gross, disgusting, like your dog's crap, it's not going to go well. But if you just understand extremely literally, all you're doing is moving around certain elements through your body, you know, just composed of tiny little shits, right? <laughs> All of a sudden now you can just take it extremely literal, just think on it at a quantum scale what's happening here, like, well, all of a sudden now doing this doesn't seem so bad. Of course, you probably will gag and vomit, and I wouldn't recommend doing this, but it applies anywhere, and it's the best way to overcome something. Um, let me think of another example. Hmm. You know what? I'm sorry, but I can't really think of another example right now. <laughs> it sucks to be you. But if you understand what I'm saying, then great. Try and share this with people, because it's, it's good. It's amazing, okay? Like, you just, you break things down into being extremely literal. When, when people say things to you, they're not... It's always an act of selfishness from the head, right? Like, whether what they're saying is good, bad, or neutral. If they say, hey, you're a good musician, that does not mean you're a good musician. It means, hey, I perceive you as being better than what I qualify an average musician. It always goes back to their, themselves. <clears throat> it's not about you, it's, it's what they're saying. And it works anywhere. So all of a sudden, you can just think of it as like, you know, hey, fuck you, man, you're a bitch. Well, I'm sorry you have those um, negative thoughts going through your head. Can I interest you in a joint? You know, like, 
that's that's all I gotta say. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this on YouTube or not. Um, but I think it's a really it's it's a strong way to think about life and don't consciously think about it like whenever someone says like hey man what's up okay literally what's he trying to deal with now no but you can just you know if someone's really angry these techniques will make you seem like a fucking god at handling stressful situations and things if you just think super literally what happens unless your life's in danger you shouldn't be panicking about anything and um and even then panicking does nothing reacting does nothing Hey man, you're a bitch, yeah, well fuck you, what are you gonna do about it? Okay, all of a sudden you've just like... <laughs> like, I mean, unless that's actually what you want, but... I can almost guarantee 9 out of 10 people don't actually want that. Now, let's say you've been wanting to fight this person for the past two weeks now, and it's just like... Ugh! Then, okay, of course, you know, if he comes at you, by all means, do what you gotta do, but... <laughs> um, yeah, you control the situation, and um, you just, if you break it down literally, it it works. And uh, that's uh, my video. Thank you.